Despite the shutdown, a House subcommittee today heard testimony on a problem that our Jim Axelrod exposed last month, that many returning war veterans are being over-medicated, some receiving lethal amounts of pain medication from VA hospitals. Jim was there as Congress opened its investigation. On Capitol Hill, two veterans crippled by debilitating pain describe their VA doctors increasing their narcotics dosages instead of treating the underlying causes. I struggled with years of dependence on the opioid therapy that was my only option made available to me for my chronic debilitating back pain. Justin Minyard, a retired Army Special Ops interrogator, first hurt his back as a first responder at the Pentagon on 9-11. At my worst point, I was taking enough pills daily to treat four terminally ill cancer patients. 30-year-old retired Army infantryman Josh Rentschler, hurt by a mortar blast in Iraq, needs a cane and can barely hold his child. The VA has him on 13 medications for his pain. And when I cry out to the VA, my only source of medical care to help me with this situation, and I'm hit with a brick wall and a bottle of pills, that does not end the hopelessness. Federal records we obtain detail numerous concerns about narcotics prescription practices at VA facilities around the country. In Las Vegas, New Orleans, and Texas, employees reported VA providers and pharmacists being forced and coerced by management to fill and refill narcotics. A doctor reported to a VA hotline she was resigning because of excessive narcotics distribution at a VA hospital in Alabama. A VA deputy uh, undersecretary for health, um, Dr. Robert Jesse, turned and promised these two men and all veterans to do a better job of looking past medications and get to the root cause of veterans' pain. Uh, to Mr. Rentschler and Menard, um, thank God you're still with us. And whatever we can do to restore your trust in the VA, um, please give us a chance. The hearing's chairman told Dr. Jesse he expects to hear from him within a month with more specifics on what exactly the VA plans to do, Scott, to restore that trust. Jim Axelrod in our Washington newsroom. Jim, thanks very much.